Hey, just before we get into this video, I just had to say that I now have a Discord server called TMS. It's really fun, and it's a very cool, chill server. So, make sure you go check that out. Alright, now into the video. Hey, what's going on, squad? It's your homeboy here, Desi, with a new video. As always, today we are playing more Stories Untold. In fact, the last Stories Untold episode. The last session. Pretty prepared, pretty excited, very... This game is freaking cool. I can't wait to see how... All the stories come together because that's supposedly what's gonna happen with the fourth episode and i just man it's gonna be so chill so we have the house abandoned uh sitting in a normal room in a house with a computer that you type on and play a interactive story horror very cool very chill uh talks about suicide and the uh, attempts of not being worth it at the end of that episode the lab conduct we dealt with a heart and a bunch of other interesting things such as uh aliens and stuff but yep then we have the station process where we talk about um with signals and demon stuff so can't wait that's gonna be great let's uh get into this yeah do 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 That's enough of that for now. What? No, oh, let this song continue. You're quite fond of the show, aren't you? I am. It's a great show. Horror aspects are freaking magnificent, though. Can I continue, please? Okay, let come on. No. Oh. Let's get you down to the observation room. Observation room. Am I in a hospital? Oh, I'm in a wheelchair. I'm in a hospital. What? This place must be starting to feel like home to you. Just, I guess. Don't worry. I'll try and get you out of here eventually. Uh huh. I have a cursor. What do I have a cursor? Should I be clicking on things? I'm just in here. What am I doing? Oh. Hey, look, there's the tape recorder. Yeah. Okay, are we through in the next room? Just relax, and we'll get started in a moment. All right, Mr. Asian. Hello. Are we ready? Oh, what? My name's Mr. Asian, just like just when I was in the second episode. In front of you when you're ready. Okay. Record. This is subject twelve. This is all I have to work with. It's just a recording device. There's no computer. New session entry. We have myself, Dr. Alexander, leading. Oh, there's and that in music. The room we have our patient, Mr. James Asian. I freaking. As we know James has recently recovered love. from a two-week coma following his accident. Humor? In our last the accident. sessions, James's attempts to recollect events of the accident seen him merging his memory with his imagination. These episodes have always ended in panic, and we've had to terminate the session abruptly. Let's try and do this one better, James. So when you're ready, let's bring this back. What's happening? I know how difficult this must be, but you can do this. James, it's time to remember. Remember? Uh-oh. Your mind. It's like a... Oh, hi. Black box. What's happening? It can show you your Hello, memory. alien device creature thing from the Look. second episode. Epilepsy warning. <laughs> Whoa, okay, we're back in the third episode. In your most recent episode, you recalled a false memory of a remote weather station. You were isolated from the rest of the world, locked inside your coma. And true operations message daily. authentic. Encouraging you to wait. Your family would do number puzzles with you. Anything really to bring you back. Number People puzzles. needed answers, James. Do you remember? I have another signal here for you, James. Whoa. It's, it's her. at five six one zero FM. You can't miss it. Five six one zero FM. 
12, 19, 86, 23, 04. Type in the numbers, James. You gotta see this. This is 20F, 12, 19, 86, 23, 04. Type in the numbers, James. Okay. You gotta see. Report. Okay. Report. So I guess we look over here at it again, just like before. Whoa. What am I looking at? Report of traffic accident. AS appropriate. Please type or print in boxes. Number of vehicles two. Date of time accident twenty three eighty six five. What did I just put? Pleasant Hill Forest Road twenty F fatal accident. Injury one. Number of beasts acted. Driver James Asian injured, not deceased. License I'm not reading that. Uh, street address, one way you drive Shooter Bridge. City of Wilson, postcode 4010 to A. Date of birth 10163. 1963? How old am I? There's no way. That's not 1983. Going with 80. Well, then again, it's the 80s right now, so. Okay, so 60 does kind of make sense. Station Wagon White. P23NDA. Redacted, redacted, redacted. Passengers 2. Nothing. Charles Hennings. Injured, deceased. Charles Hennings died. Driver named first, middle, last. Other person. Other driver died. Um, gotta read their license. 22 Greenfield Avenue, Olson, blah, 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 17 to 40. Sunday sedan, a blue sedan. H16 APO, passenger one. Arrived on scene to discover two. I was seen to discover two cars that had been involved in a head-on collision. Mr. Asian found lying down outside his vehicle with head injury. Ambulance was immediately called. His passenger was trapped in the vehicle in critical condition from wounds sustained in the in, from the collision. Drivers of the blue sedan, Mr. Hennings, was found dead on arrival. It was noticed that there was a strong smell of whiskey from the driver and an attempt an empty whiskey bottle on the passenger seat. Mr. Asian was questioned on scene. He described an oncoming blue sedan being clearly out of control, which he swerved to avoid. Mr. Asian passenger was his sister. The driver of the blue sedan is an ex police officer. Authorized. Alexander. Damn. 20F fatal accident. That's circled. So I'm assuming that's the first one. 20F fatal accident. Accident. Did I spell that? I think I spelled it wrong. Thank you. I didn't. Not them. X. Where's the other one? Empty whiskey out of... All caps.
Okay, there's that. Searching. Find the signal, James. Listen to the voices. You have to face it, James. Finally. Williams, 7,000 F. It's not like it. At all. I've worked with Officer Hennings for six years and not once have we even talked whoa, about Whoa, 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 whoa. Drunk driving. He, he was a father, a husband. He was fine. No way he caused this. It's him. The door slams this shut, plunging Asian you into guy. darkness. He's got something to hide. A light flickers on. Oh no, now I'm in the literal story. This doesn't make sense to you. Oh, we're in the hospital. You step out into the hospital ward, only it seems abandoned. Your vision is... All of your episodes were recorded to tape. This is the... Sometimes they make you watch your past sessions. What really happened? First step to recovery. It's all about drunk driving. All about drunk driving. Okay, that scared me. You tense up. Someone else is here. Hello? Office. Word. Hey, look, it's the computer. Hello? Is there someone actually here? You grab the keys from the table. They weigh heavy on. They weigh heavy in your hand. Hello. Flipped. This would have been Henning's bed. Old to the touch. Huh. You spent most waking moments in. The only video they have, some horror compilation. Crash. The only, only caught a glimpse of the Yes, that's why there is no D. Okay, so I'm going through my memory here. Another door you never opened. What was it? The waiting area is dark, but you feel a presence right behind you. No, I don't. See? There's nothing there. Someone breathes on your neck, standing over. Please stop. For the light! You feel dread in the of your stomach. Okay. All right. Okay, We're waking we up tonight. Hello. Just brought in from a vehicle collision. He was awake and mobile at the scene, but collapsed on arrival to the oh. emergency ward. The other passengers died in the accident. I'm getting no pulse. Prepare for defib. Amp charge full to ten, and give me one hundred joules. One hundred joules. What this? Come on, 100 joules, charging up food to 10. All right, 100 joules, 100 joules. I understand, I understand. I don't, I don't know why I'm doing the doctor stuff. You're the doctor here. Uh. Oh, 10. Clear. Ah, uh, owie. No reaction from first. Okay, so they're using Try one of those. 200 joules. They're using one of those jump start 10. kits on me. No, I'm not talking about a car. I'm talking about a human. 200 joules. 200? Charge at 10. Let's go. You're gonna kill me. Clear. Uh, ah, uh, <coughs> okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Let's keep going. Increase again. 360, charge full. 360, charge full. You got it. Come on, 360, hurry. Working on it. This is so weird. Clear. Clear. Ah! 
Well, would you look at that? It seems we have a pulse. Okay, he said that. Stable. We need to run an X-ray right away. Oh, I, I am looking around now. Where are oh. we with that X-ray? Let's get it going now, please. Oh my gosh. Like an intracerebral hemorrhage. We need to drain this now to relieve pressure. Prepare for trepanation. Switch on the drill, please. You want me to just switch on the drill? The drill, please. Mr. Asian, you've made yeah. excellent progress. Why wake me up and then do this? Oh! Well, we go stop, 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 stop. I don't think that's we're how the, that's not how doctors do it. They don't use a drill. They don't use a drill. Oh, hey. Why am I here? Okay. Bad dream. It was all bad dream. We're back at the house abandoned. Whoa, there's a party downstairs. Not only is tonight New Year's Eve, but tomorrow you leave on a six month trip aboard with friends. Mom, dad, and your sister Jennifer have decided to throw a party to celebrate it all. The house is full. You're in the living room, and as usual, you don't recognize a soul. Okay. Fuck. Fucked. You exchange pleasantries. Not a smile. Not a smile. Eve. Push through the crowd into the hallway. I know in the weird voice. It was. The hallway is as welcoming as ever. Only this time, the folks have put a great big banner up across the main hall. Half finished drinks are abandoned and almost every horizontal finish surface stairs lead up. Although the party is firmly downstairs. Is this where I get drunk? Wait, no, I'm not the one getting drunk. Is this where I go? Is this like happening before the, the accident of the car crash and stuff? I'm pretty sure so. Um, Go to kitchen. You can't use the word walk. You say all the best parties are in the kitchen. The kitchen is full of people and lot and loud people and loud sure there are drinks and food on the table and the party is full swing dad has cooked a hog roast which sits proudly on the table although no one is eating the carcass on the table from the first episode yeah that would be the carcass on well i know one thing go to utility closet because that was a thing As you're about to head inside the utility room, Jen places her hand on your shoulder. You hug. You're gonna miss each other. You thank her for the party. She asks if you are enjoying the party. Yes. You tell her it's great, even though you don't really know anyone. She tells you to enjoy it anyway, and to loosen up. She asks you to get her a drink. It. And a drink. Oh, sister. You pour Jen a drink, and one for yourself, too. There's never an awkward silence, Jennifer. She always has a question. She asks if you have everything sorted for the big trip. Yes. You tell her yes, that you have packed everything with plenty of room to spare. Another hug, your family have really gone out of their way to make this trip happen for you. It might it might be what you need to get some perspective and maybe not fuck up so much. I'm going to miss you. You're going to miss her. She walks away. Then it's disappeared into the crowd. You're left standing, nodding and smiling at the faces. There is so much to do for this move. Can't mess it up, but first, a drink. Pour and down another drink. Anything to move the night along. Yep. And I thought that he was the drunk one. Uh. Go. You open the door and peer in. You're never allowed in here normally. This is where Dad keeps his fine wines and whiskeys. Stealing floor racks, a collector. 
Although he does actually drink them too. There's a bottle with a ribbon round with with a ribbon round it and a card. Card. Same card that said to get out, get out, get out. Pick up the whiskey in the card. It's your dad's handwriting. Son, we're so proud of you and everything you've achieved. You've earned this. Bottle of 25 year old bottle malt. You shouldn't really, but you have to try it. With your whiskey in hand, you take it in the room around about you. There must be hundreds, no thousands of pounds worth of drink in here. You really must thank your dad for the whiskey. Thank dad. Sorry, I don't understand. Get back into the kitchen, clutching your new best friend. You stumble out to the utility room and back into the kitchen. This is the strong whiskey. Take another swig and give the thumbs up to dad across the room. He nods and winks. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Um, now can I thank dad? He tells you he is proud of you and to go right, early flight tomorrow. Leave kitchen. You go back out to the hallway. A few bumps and laughs on the way through, you make it to the hall. You stop dead in your tracks. It's Jen. Covered in blood. She's staring straight at you. No one else notices. Blood is dripping down her face. It's mixing with tears. I'm sorry, I don't understand. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Sorry, I don't understand. That's supposed to be Jen? Get it away. I'm sorry, I couldn't understand. We tried our best, Mrs. Asian, but her injuries were too severe. No, I don't understand. I'm just, just talking to her. I'm afraid Jennifer passed away before we could get to her in surgery. We did the best we could. I am so sorry. Where is she? Let me see her. Please, Mrs. Asian, take a seat. I don't want to take a seat. Let me talk to her. Now. I'll arrange for you to see her. In the meantime, James is in recovery. He's stable for now. I don't want to see him. Okay, so Jen's dead. That voice is my mother. You're standing in the hall with something stuck in your tracks. While searching your mind, your mind, your sister interrupts. She waves her hand in front of you and asks if you can drive her home. You still feel out of sorts. Those words echo. Okay, uh, take Jen home then, I guess. I don't know what you're trying to use. Eve? You need to tell me which room to go to. The house. You need to tell me which room you want to go to. I don't know! Uh, go to front door. There's no point until you find those car keys. Car keys, okay. Look for car keys. You need to look for them. They must be either in the kitchen or in the living room. Go to living room. You're sure your keys are in the living room? Yes. The living room has a much more relaxed atmosphere compared to the kitchen. Various guests are sat on the chairs having civilized conversations. There's a coffee table in the middle of the room. Mom is pouring a drink at the cabinet. Uh... Drinks on coasters, like prosper civilized people. You can't see your keys. Around. Coffee table, a drink cabinet, one of the chairs is overflowing jackets. Jack jacket. Look. In. Jacket. You search through all the jackets and coats until you find yours. Aha! Car keys in the pocket. You grab both. What? 
Oh, yeah, your jacket. Uh, duh. Okay. He's in hand. You head back into the hall. Jen thanks you for helping her out. She is work in the morning, and no one else is, is in any fit state to drive. You can handle it, though. You know the road like the back of your hand, don't you? Oh. Yes. <sighs> Ooh, front. You open the front door and walk using night. Cold air hits you. You're glad you have your jacket with you. There's a dis dusting of snow around you as you step down from the porch. The yard extends around the back of the house and the car sits at the front of your house. Of the house. Walk. Car. Right, walk. I don't like the word walk. Go to car. You rumble with the car handle, confused until Jen tells you to maybe use the key. key. Fumbling with the car keys, you eventually get the door open and climb inside. The car is freezing as you fumble around with your belt. Your sister opens up the car glove box and hands you a note and a key that was inside. She tells you that it's for well, the first episode. When I returned, I did have a note from Dad, and I also had a key. Okay, well, that's good to know that she put it there. Haunt me in my dreams. Uh, great. Start. It's, it's going to make me do it, is it? Use key. Takes a number of attempts, but you eventually slot the key into the Yep. Start. R. You turn the key and the ignition and the car roars to life. Uh, leave. Jennifer is getting impatient. If you value your life, you had better get her home. Right. Car squeals, but stay stationary. Jen's just, just released the brake. The brake. You very hesitantly release the handbrake. Right. You put the car in gear and pull out the driveway like a first-time driver. You really shouldn't be driving. You, I, am driving very drunk on the road towards the town where your sister stays. Jen started dozing off as soon as the journey got going. This shouldn't take long. You come to a junction. Is it left or right? You can't remember. Ask Jen. I don't know. She grunts and throws her arm to the left. It's left, of course. It's left. Go left. Go left. Wow. Uh, confident that you're on the right road now, she you loosen up and put your foot down on the accelerator. You feel powerful as the engine roars at your command. Then sits up in her chair and clutches your arm. He asks you to slow down. Slow down. That's not what really happened, though, is it? You're all over the place, James. Pull over. Jen is hitting your arm and yelling at you. Crazy sister. Strange. There's a set of headlights coming directly at you, but slow, like slow motion. Oh. Try to react, but your body isn't responding. There's nothing you can do to stop this. There's no way to control it. The lights merge the car. The James, outside sake, pull joins over. the inside. The whole world around you begins to scream. James! It was at this very moment, Holy wasn't it, James? Crap, this the moment you lost it all. This is artwork. Your sister. Your Holy crap. Yourself. This is beautiful, like, and my gosh. It worse. Go on. Show us what you did. Wake up in the car, your world is upside down. Your seatbelt struggles against gravity, trying to hold you in your seat. Get out of my face! An impact, an impact in another car has torn a hole into the chassis. Poisonous fumes spill in your car from the engine. You are in grave danger, you have to get out of here. Get out! Can't move. The bell is still in place. Use belt. You release yourself from the seat. Gravity takes over as you slump onto the roof of the car. Leave. You squeeze through the wreckage and fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. This is just like what happened in the second, because I I left a wreckage. A blue car is smashed in the passenger side of your car. Your life cannot be ruined by this. You are standing holding your whiskey and your dad's note and flashing. But no, always changing now reads, get through this, I don't care if you want to or not. Green. 
drink whiskey. Come on, James. You, you drink this now. You're going to get what's coming to you. Well, I'm drunk. This is a problem. Throw, throw whiskey. You can't just toss this away without thinking. They will find it. They will come for you. Let's look for Jen. Maybe that's a good idea. For Jen. Sorry, I don't know what you're looking at. Jen! Attend to Jen. Okay, let's go. Look at other bar. Hazard lights are blinking and fumes are rising from the, en from the engine. Through the smashed windows, you can see the motionless driver. Open car. I don't know what you're trying to use. What car? The other one or yours? In blue car door. Blue. Trying to think. Go to light. Look around. A crash site. Smoke billows from the crash. Cars to the sky above. Exterior lights flickering on and off. I'm not supposed to be the one drunk, though. Oh. Oh. Oh no, with the lights approaching closer, you begin to hear the thrill of their sirens. Simply cannot go to jail for this. You clean the bottle to remove your connection with the whiskey. You then very deliberately spill the remainder of the bottle's contents on the driver and you toss the incriminating evidence onto the passenger seat. Oh no, I sent him. Oh no. That's awful. A circle of flashing lights around you, illuminating. A crash site in the darkness behind them, an army of people still staring. All staring. One figure steps out, a silhouette, and walks towards you. Just like it did last time, go to person. As you approach the man, the pulsating lights around you get dimmer and dimmer while the pain in your head increases. Fall to the ground you. at his feet. I know you're tearing yourself apart over it, but no what matter are you what doing? you doing? Go away. Yourself, you have to listen to me. That accident. That poor man. Me. You have to remember. It was all your fault. Uh-oh, okay, we're back. Hello. I know what you did. How you left me there to protect yourself. Planting evidence on some poor man. What do you want me to do? You went headfirst into that officer and you wrecked all of our lives. And then you couldn't even take responsibility. You did All the right. right thing for you and no one else. Save yourself. Only it was wrong, wasn't it? What's happening? Utterly consumed that is by so it. bright. The lighting is so Save good in James. this game. I'm just... Hello? Say it. Tell them. Listen to yourself. I press the play button. Well, I think we've made progress today, Mr. Asian. I guess we should tell the police what you've told us. Ah. Uh. I don't suspect they'll take you anywhere. I think you'll be with us for quite some time. Come on, let's get you back to your shows. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Oh my gosh, that was awesome. <laughs> that was so cool. Wow. That's that was so cool. The way they put all the stories together was absolutely The third one didn't make the most sense. Because I mean I guess it did because of the report, but the second one and the first one were that was so good. Good job. Holy crap. Good job. Good job. This game is awesome. This game is for real the coolest. Crap. Nope. Doggy. Dog John. Cool things. Carolina Urban. Cool Alex Tuddy. Special thanks for your support, notice, and love. That's awesome. This whole game really had to do with just drunk driving. That's pretty interesting. Freaking cool. That was awesome. I don't think it would have been as good without the 80s, obviously, but... Interesting. Wrapping it up. Interesting way of wrapping it up. Oh, wait a minute. They've they changed. Centrovid sessions one for Jane Nation, Dr. Alexander. Okay, so the doctor's name was Alexander. So these are my tapes, I said. But each one of these basically recalling different things that happened. I don't really see what the whole ending of this process had to do. It sent me back to the house abandoned, but I don't see what that had to do with anything. I guess it was just a cool little awe moment, but it was really cool. Very cool game. Good job, Devolver Digital. Great game. Great game. Anyways, that's gonna be it. So. Peace. Do, do, do.